Hey everybody, this is Gary, the fist pump guy. Look, don't look at me weird just because I have a GoPro camera on my head. So today, what I'm going to give you is a ride along on the 2020 Toyota Corolla SE and you're going to see what I see. Stay tuned. <clears throat> okay everybody, we're going to start this ride along here in a minute. A few seconds actually, but I wanted to let you know I decided to uh, wear the mount on my head instead of my chest because I wanted you to be able to experience and see the things that I'm looking at as soon as I'm looking at them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the road here a little bit. I'm just going to drive a little bit and talk and then uh, maybe take you down the highway and tell you what I think about it. Now I've done quite a few videos I think on the Corolla. I've just never done a um, ride along and I think it's important to do one so hopefully you can see everything I'm looking at you got your radio screen I went ahead and hooked my phone up for uh, Apple CarPlay to show you how easy that is you got your instrument cluster uh, odometer you got your side mirrors I want to be able to see that you got your steering wheel controls I hope you can see all this so I want to just basically drive down the road and tell you what I'm driving in so you'll know um, I've got a 2020 Toyota Corolla SE. Now the SE is going to have the 2.0 liter engine. Okay, so it's going to give you a little bit more horsepower. Uh, I believe it's around 169 on the horsepower versus the 139 on the uh, 1.8. And it's going to be paired with a CVT transmission. And what's funny is, is this vehicle is going to get you about 40 miles per gallon on the highway now in retrospect that is better fuel economy on the highway than any other of the Corollas other than the hybrid so in 2020 the SE is going to get you better fuel economy than the LE so uh, kind of keep that in mind when you're out shopping for a new Corolla now as I'm driving I want you to know it has all the new latest safety features um, this will have the Toyota Safety Sense P 2.0 now carryovers from last year which you'll find on my walk around video I may put the uh, uh, link up top but you'll get the pre-collision system with pedestrian detection automatic high beams radar cruise control and lane departure alert with steering assist now as part of the 2.0 you pick up road sign assist I don't know if you can see the 45 mile per hour sign because we just passed one it shows the speed limit yield stop and I believe do not enter a wrong way one of those two now obviously I believe the speed limit one is the most important because it's the only one that uh, um, you can actually correct um, if you passed it right you can slow down you can't uh, stop again so anyway so that's that and then you pick up a low light pedestrian detection also bicycle detection you get lane tracing which I'll demonstrate here in a few minutes lane tracing which is basically going to keep you centered in the lane while you're using your radar cruise control um, so some great features um, as I've said before if you watch my RAV4 video you'll know that I really don't like the lane tracing in particular so I turned it, that part off on the RAV4 demo that I'm riding um, just because I feel like it's you know always moving my steering wheel so but for some people they'll love that that feature now as we drive down the road um, I do hear a little bit of road noise and wind noise uh, but it's nothing compared to the old Corollas and some of the other cars I've driven um, it's not near as bad as that but it's definitely a little bit noticeable I'm gonna take a left up here and uh, go down some back roads um, but as far as the handling goes I, I've, I've always been impressed with this Corolla since it came out um, the, the horsepower is it's quite responsive even with the CPT transmission this two liters a little stronger um, than the standard 1.8 you'll find on the LE um, so you do get a lot of uh, a lot of extras when you buy this vehicle you get 18 inch alloy wheels you get a sportier look rear lip spoiler um, there's a lot of things that you'll get on this now you can get the premium package upgrade which will add you the moonroof blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert and also you'll pick up smart key with push button start um, so that is a premium upgrade you can get on this vehicle so if you like those things 
you know, and, and, and you just don't like the, the standard SE, you could go up and get the premium or even move up to an XSE, which would have some of those features as well. Um, you could hear my lane departure alert going off and steering assist going off just now. Um, I crossed over the lane and it pulled me back. Um, the steering on this is very responsive, uh, very nice drive uh, handling. It's very responsive, so if you hit the steering wheel, it's going to go. And also, I want to tell you about the, if you can tell, I know you can see it's got a big windshield. You can see very well out of this car. Now, I know a lot of people have problems with uh, vision and seeing out of vehicles, but you'll notice that Toyota this year, they took the mirror off the bolster there, off the uh, pillar, and put it on the doors, and you have a little mirror there, so you can actually see over here. And that gives you a little bit more vision when you're turning and you know trying to uh, make a turn or something where you're looking also in the back you'll notice it's, it's very very easy to see back here whenever you're turning or trying to get over which I'll try to demonstrate that here in a second after I turn down here um, one thing I'm gonna do while we're going I'm gonna go ahead and touch this Apple CarPlay I've already I've already turned it on it's already plugged in and you can see some of the apps that you're able to get now this isn't all of them I think there's somewhere around 25 to 28 apps you can download for your uh, Apple CarPlay to work. Sorry, it's beeping at me again. But you can see that I've got a couple on here that's not on most people's because you will get the standard ones um, as part of the uh, Apple CarPlay when you first turn it on. But I do have Amazon Music, Audible, Pandora, things like that that you can use. Very easy to use. It does have maps, so you will get a version of navigation on every Corolla through the uh, Apple CarPlay. Um, so that is um, a great feature. Um, I don't, you know, typically would you, I don't typically use them that much because on my Tundra, when I'm using navigation, I usually just talk to Siri because it's easier for me to use Siri than it is for me to try to touch things on here because a lot of the features now, you can't, uh, you can't touch while you're driving, especially like phone calls and stuff like that. So. I've used uh, Siri quite often to send text messages and make phone calls and stuff like that while I'm driving. Um, now this new system, this Intune 3.0, I know it's had its uh, uh, bad moments, but it really do I really don't like it that much, uh, to be quite honest with you. Uh, the Apple CarPlay is great and some of the other features, but um, as far as the screen goes, I like the big screen, but I really don't like the 3.0. Uh, to me it's a little slow. Uh, sometimes it's hard to find what you're looking for in there versus the one I have in my Tundra, which I think is a lot faster. Um, but there again, that's things that you learn and, and move on. I know that the Intune system multimedia is one of the uh, complaints that customers have on Toyotas. And uh, I really, really honestly can't blame them. <clears throat> so I hope you can see um, going out I'm looking around trying to give you a vision of what I'm looking at and this way I can actually keep my hands on the wheel eyes on the road instead of recording from my phone which I typically have on a uh, some type of tripod or window mount and it's quite bumpy so one of the complaints I had on one of my ride-along videos is it's too bumpy and I shouldn't be looking at the driver so guess what I'm making both of those happen at one time. So hopefully it's not as bumpy and hopefully you don't see me unless you're looking at me in the mirror right there, which at that point I really don't care. So if you're a, a new person to my channel, please subscribe. Um, down in the, uh, if you're looking at the your screen right now, down in the right hand bottom corner of this, or you could just hit subscribe. You can just touch on that and subscribe. I appreciate it. I need all the subscribers I can get. I'm trying to build my channel. And uh, it's been a slow process. I try to put out a lot of different videos, a lot of good videos, information. Um, but I also know that sometimes it's uh, it's uh, slow building. So um, I'm trying to be patient. But if you can help me out, I appreciate it. Sorry, I was yawning. I have started doing some videos on magnet fishing, which is a new hobby of mine and also uh, trying to do some reviews 
on vehicles or products or something so if somebody's got something they want to want me to review or demo or something on video feel free to reach out to me you can email me at uh, uh, Gary at the fist pump guy.com or the fist pump guy at yahoo.com is the easiest ways to get me leave me a comment in the uh, comments on this video that will help too we're gonna go up here and take a right because this is a dangerous intersection so I don't like trying to go straight across and then I'm going to uh, demonstrate the lane tracing um, I do have a video on that um, Toyota is pretty strict about some of the uh, videos we put out as far as safety and stuff goes but I mainly wanted to uh, show you a couple of those things so I hope you can see the instrument cluster very easy to see um, lights up well at night horsepower on this is pretty good it's got pretty good takeoff um, like I said you're gonna get about 40 miles to the gallon on this which is which is pretty good considering uh, it's a two liter and the hybrid gets over 50 so that new hybrid Corolla is uh, pretty nice as well so I'm gonna get on it in a second and the CVT is hard to get used to a little bit but you know I've been doing this a while now so it's not that big a deal all right so I hope you can see what I'm about to do I'm gonna turn on the radar uh, the uh, cruise control which is right here okay and then on my screen it's gonna say Radar cruise active, please pay, please pay attention. <clears throat> and once I find the speed, I'm gonna hit set. And if you can see it, I'm gonna try to lower my steering wheel here. I don't know if you can see it or up, but it's got two blue lines. Now my lane tracing is on, so my foot's not on, on the gas or anything, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna keep me more centered in the lane. Okay, so you'll see right here, you'll see the steering wheel kind of going back and forth. <clears throat> So as long as it recognizes the lanes, it's going to keep you. Now I don't particularly like that too much. You got to keep your hand on the steering wheel and stuff, but um, it's okay. It's a it's a good feature to have um, if if you are driving in traffic or down the interstate or something like that. And one thing I like about our radar cruise control, it's full speed. So in the event that the traffic ahead of me slows down or even stops, it will help this vehicle slow down and even stop without you ever touching the brake. Now I don't recommend you trying it um, unless it's something that you uh, want to demo on your own but I have done it and it does work so uh, and then once you're stopped all you have to do when the traffic starts back is to tap the gas and it will uh, start your uh, cruise control over again so but I still got it on. I may try to demonstrate it here in a second. Now you can set your distance between you and the next car, which I'm about to do. I'm hoping this thing's going to slow me down right here. Okay, it's starting to slow me down. There's a car in front of me with their hazards on, with a mattress on top, because uh, that's how we do it in the south. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to ease behind here and figure out what's going on here, and then get around them after this truck goes by. So I'm gonna look and then go okay now as that truck gets away from me my speed's gonna pick back up so I don't know if I'll get back up to the 59 that I had it set at but there you go so now it's gonna get back up until I get to a spot where I'm near that uh, car in front of me all right so I'm gonna it's gonna slow me down and I'm gonna hit my brakes here so I can make this turn. So overall, the, the, the Corolla SE handles really nice. It holds the curves really well. So if you get on it, if you like you accelerate through the curb, it's gonna hug the curb. I mean, it's, it's very tight turning, very, very tight in the turn. So uh, um, I think you'd like it. It's, uh, like I said, it's a great car, great safe vehicle, eight airbags, Apple CarPlay standard. You're all your safety with the Toyota Safety Sense P 2.0. Um, great vehicle for the family. Great vehicle for a teenager. Um, I think you'll like it. So uh, we're about to end this uh, ride along. Hope you've enjoyed it. And Thank you for joining me for another ride along video. Today's video was on the 2020 Toyota Corolla SE. It's a great car, great ride, great for the whole family. Don't forget to like, comment, share while you're here. And watching this video, don't forget, 
to subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Follow the Fist Pumped Enterprise.